over 6,000 US dollars. Look at this price. You probably all know that VTuber model prices are getting kind of out of control. I mean, I get it because artists need to earn some money, especially in these times. But we need to talk about this because I don't want you to spend such a huge amount of money when you're just starting VTubing. Okay? Hey, what's up? I'm Chen and recently I read many tweets about fresh VTubers buying super expensive models and then saying they don't have money left for rent or food. Honestly, this is sort of ridiculous. Don't do this. I'll show you how to get a VTuber model for free. Yes, for free. Like the one I'm using, I made it myself. I only invested a few dollars to get some custom clothing. Okay, we are talking about a 3D model. As you can see, might not look as extremely detailed as a live 2D model, but honestly, if you're just starting, you won't need live 2D. And if you want to save money, you don't need it, need it either. To get started, head over to Steam and download Vroid Studio. It's a free piece of software. It brings in many presets and options to get you started. I'll drop the link into the description below so um, you know which software I'm actually talking about. When you open this up, um, you basically get a screen. You see as an overview all models you have worked on. And as you can see, I've, I've been working regularly on models um, and I'll show you a few options you can actually go through so we click on new we start a female character it takes a moment to load and you've got these tabs at the top where you can start editing it doesn't look much at the moment but basically if you want to use presets we can uh, go for a face basically like this one um and on the right side you can basically f as we're edit editing the face you can edit different parameters for example if you want to have more droopy eyes you pull them down over here like this then we can set the hair on the face you can also edit the things like eyeliner you can edit your eyelashes you can edit lips now hairstyle we've been here already very quickly let's take these hairs looks pretty normal um also here in the hairstyle tab you can edit various aspects of the hair for example you can select the main color if we want to go this Take a more bluish color. Also, when you select front, you can edit the hairstyle. This is a kind of advanced feature, uh, which actually lets you change the hair freehand. So, if you have an idea about the hair you want to uh, want to have, you can also draw your hair freehand. It's all possible. You can get very detailed. Um, body, there are not many presets, there are two presets, and honestly, I don't know the difference between the two, but also you can uh, select uh, different options here on the on the right side. For example, we can change our height, uh, we can change the body size, we can say, uh, change the chest size. If you like more booba, you increase the chest size outfits. This software comes with a bunch of um, different preset outfits. As you can see, I haven't downloaded any of them. They are already installed and it can get you started quickly. These are whole sets. For example, if we want to have this clothing set, but also you can you can change um, various items off. As like in all other options, you can change the parameters on the right side. This can be very interesting for you when you download custom clothings. You might want to edit these parameters so they fit perfectly. Do we have shoes? We have shoes because it's a whole set, but we can also change the shoes if you like. Next thing are accessories. 
know we've got many cats and foxes out there so we can actually for example add cat ears of course we want to change the color let's change the color now we've got cat ears and if you want to change the ear size you can make them bigger you can round the tips and you can add more fur if you like like this this was just a very quick walkthrough Vroid Studio. There are so many options you can change. I'll recommend play around with them. Um, it's not very hard and also make sure to save your model. Like here, save as. Save, save your model always because you might want to change it afterwards. You have to save a .vroid file to change your model afterwards. And one of the most important features of Vroid Studio is probably exporting the model. You don't want to have it just in, v uh, in Vroid Studio. So you click this arrow up bucket symbol right next to the photo camera and export as VRM. You are in the export as VRM window. You see your character as a T-pose. Um, don't be worried about that. That's absolutely normal. It is required to calibrate the model in a t-pose so every software knows what to do especially when you export it to blender to or beat saber or anything else the t-pose is required so all these default settings are okay if you ever want to fiddle around with a vr chat you might need to reduce um settings like bones materials etc you can do that here but for streaming, you just hit the export button, give all the stuff a name and a title, hit the export button. Now we have exported our VRM file for the model itself. And now we open up the downloaded VC face. You also see the link to VC face up here in the top left corner. So you can download it there. But I have to I have to talk about a small disclaimer. When, always when you download something off the internet, it's your responsibility to take care it's a not problematic piece of software. I'm using VC Face for quite a while. I have never had any issues, so we should be safe, but don't make me responsible for anything of this. So when you start up VSC Face, you probably end up with a window like this. This is your local avatar selection screen, and you just hit this plus button to add an avatar then you search for the vrm file you have exported in vroid studio load it in and click select and there we go now this is basically it and what you now do to have it on your stream you just use game capture and capture this window from vc face make sure that you allow transparency and uh, to remove all these menus out of the screen just select this the button on the bottom right corner just click on this and the menu disappears and that's it you've got your 3d model it was completely free and if you want to have additional clothing you just go onto a website called booth it's uh, booth.pm the prices are in japanese yen However, you can easily convert them using Google. Just type, for example, 2500 JPY in USD, which stands for US dollars, and Google will convert it for you and you know the real price in US dollars. But on booth.pm, you will find different clothing assets you can use in Vroid Studio. And I will also uh, drop the link into the description so you know where you have to go. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this video, please consider subscribing my channel so I know I should do more and leave a thumbs up. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.